Hello YouTubers, my name is Jeremy Zuther. I'm in Dallas, Texas with Mr. Computer on-site computer and network support 469-261-7000. Uh, first off I'm just going to tell you get familiar with your pause button in the lower left hand corner of your screen. I'm going to be going pretty fast so you can either watch this as fast as you want or as slow as need be depending on your level of technical expertise. Um, so today I'm going to be going over the FBI which, uh, virus, which is also called the Money Pack virus. There's a million different varieties of it, and basically this is a virus where they try to shake people down for two or three hundred dollars, and uh, people actually end up submitting their credit cards to these people and uh, having their lives really messed up in the process. Um, so the first thing that I'll say is if you do have critical data on the computer, whether it be family photos or work-related stuff, if you've got very important stuff on there, I would definitely recommend hiring a professional as opposed to doing it yourself. Um, when I say hiring a professional, I don't just mean giving your money to some guy that asks for money in exchange for computer repair. I would definitely look for a reputable company. Whether you use my company or another, um, just take your time when weeding them out. Uh, there are a lot of guys that don't know what they're doing out there. Um, okay, so the first thing that you should know and the most important thing is that we are always going to begin with the computer off and immediately after hitting the power button, we are going to tap the F8 button at the top of your keyboard. That's Foxtrot 8. Um, when you tap it, it's going to bring up a, a menu and depending on your particular computer, uh, most computers should have an option for safe mode and a lot of computers will also have an option for repair your computer. Um, we're going to start out by discussing the option for safe mode and depending on how far the virus has advanced or which variant of the FBI virus you have, you may or may not have the option for safe mode available to you. So again, we're going to start out with the computer off. We're going to tap F8 repeatedly and eventually when it brings up the option for safe mode, we're going to choose that. Uh, after it goes into safe mode, uh, there's going to be two things that we're going to want to do. The first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to uh, double click the computer or my computer icon and we're going to go into the C drive and then depending on whether you have XP or Vista I'm just going to outline what you're going to do for uh, Vista 7 or Windows 8. Um, for Vista 7 or Windows 8 you're going to go into the C drive and then you're going to go into the users folder and then you're going to go into your user profile folder which is usually your name or it'll say user or whatever. Anyway, uh, it's going to be the the one that matches your username typically Within there, if you have not yet um, enabled uh, folders to show hidden files and show uh, uh, operating system and protected files, you will need to do that. So you may have to do a separate YouTube search for how to uh, enable uh, viewing hidden folders and files on your computer. So I'm going to assume that you've already done that and you are at your uh, folder located at the C drive, users, followed by your username, and then there should be a folder called app data. Within app data, there's a folder called local, and within local, there's a folder called temp. Inside the temp folder, you can erase everything in there. And typically, a lot of the viruses actually reside in that folder. Um, so go ahead and erase everything that's within the temp folder. Don't erase the temp folder itself, just erase everything that's within it. Usually, you're going to have some um, files that are kind of pesky and don't want to be erased, and that's fine. We're going to continue regardless of whether it erases all of them or not. The next thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to need to bring up a run prompt. If you don't know how to bring up a run prompt, you're going to do a separate search for that. Um, once you get a run prompt up, inside the run prompt, type msconfig, which is short for Microsoft Configuration, msconfig, and then you're going to hit the OK button. That's going to bring up the system configuration utility. The first thing you're going to do is click on the services tab and then you're going to check the box in the lower left hand corner that says hide all Microsoft services. It's critical that you do that because we don't want to disable services that you need because otherwise you're going to make your problem worse. After you've checked the box that says hide all Microsoft services, go ahead and disable all other uh, services. Um, after you've done that, click the startup tab and click the box that says to disable all of the startup items. At this point, uh, while you're in safe mode, if you have an external hard drive or some sort of USB stick or something that you can back up your files to, it would be a good idea to do it now because your computer may go further downhill. 
So if you do have some files, I would strongly recommend doing it right now while you're in safe mode. Um, after you've applied the changes in the system configuration utility and you reboot the computer, the computer may be actually operational to a degree. If the computer is operational, I would strongly recommend getting a reputable antivirus on there and using it to clean the computer. Um, some reputable antiviruses are going to be things like uh, Webroot and Trend Micro and Kaspersky. Um, I do not endorse Norton or McAfee or AVG. I don't have anything further to say bad about them because I don't want a lawsuit, but I definitely do not endorse those particular products. Um, okay, so let's say that uh, you were not able to get into safe mode, and let's say that um, you want to fix your computer. We're going to go right back to uh, having the computer off, and when it's powered completely off, you're going to hit the power button, and you're going to tap F8 repeatedly right after turning it on. It's going to bring you up with your menus where it has safe mode and a variety of other options. And hopefully it has, if it does not go into safe mode, hopefully you have the option for uh, repair your computer. If you do have an option for repair your computer, once you get into the repair computer menu, choose the option for system restore and choose the oldest restore point that you're comfortable with. Now one thing I will emphasize to you is that I always recommend uh, I should say I never recommend using System Restore unless it is an absolute last option. So if, if you've gotten your important information off the computer, uh, then go ahead and do System Restore. If you have important information on the computer, um, I would definitely recommend calling a professional. But let's say that you don't and you want to try fixing it yourself. At this point, you can try the System Restore option and choose the oldest point that you feel comfortable with. If that does not work, one thing that you can do is you can turn the computer off completely and you can turn it on and tap the F8 button. Again, we are always starting with turning the computer on and immediately tapping F8. You'll choose the option for repair your computer, which should be the top option. And then you're going to choose, uh, when it finally gets into the various options that are available, you're going to choose the option for recovery. It should use that word verbatim. Now one thing that you should note is that whenever you do a system recovery, the first thing that it does is erase all of your files. And so I hope you found uh, this guidance uh, helpful. I hope that uh, you're very careful not to lose your files. I've tried to outline all the steps needed to make sure that you don't lose your files. Um, if you find that you would prefer to have a professional work on your machine, uh, I am in Dallas. I work in Dallas, Allen, Plano, Frisco, McKinney, and the northern part of town. Uh, you can do a search for Mr. Computer on the web, which is www.topgeeks.net, or you can just call me at 469-261-7000. Have a good day.